Hey guys, Chris Hancock here with Sideline Power. Today we're going to be talking about a couple issues that go wrong with the Sony cameras on the field. Uh, the first thing is that you run out of power and, and to avoid that what you really want to do is make sure that this power pack is fully charged before you get onto the field. So a couple things you can do, if you look on the side here there's these two little dots, those are LED lights. Uh, when you have it plugged in and it's charging, the red light is going to be blinking. When it is fully charged, that red light will turn off. To make sure that it is working, we're going to go ahead and unplug this clip from the handle right here. We're going to plug the USB into our power pack. And we see that this blue light has come on. So the blue light means that there's something plugged in and it is actively powering the camera as we can see right here right now. So just make sure that this power pack is fully charged before you head out to the field. Get that blue light, you're going to know that it's working. Another issue that we run into quite frequently is that the, the Sony cam isn't working, right? You can't zoom in, zoom out, um, you know, and, and record. So uh, that's going to do with this multi-port cable right here. And, and you, you'll know that it's the multi-port cable because it has this little yellow tag on it. So the multi-port port is right here underneath the handle. And we want to make sure that we have this oriented correctly. And then we want to make sure that it's going straight in and plugged all the way in. It kind of clicks in, right? So if you put it in, but it doesn't click in, you want to make sure you get that click in. And then the other thing that we want to do is we want to take this car carabiner right here and we want to clip it to our tension relief harness right here on the top, this red ring on the top. What that's going to do is that's going to make sure that it doesn't pull on this multi-port harness and, and cord to make sure that it doesn't bend the tip because we see that a lot with support issues where this tip gets bent pretty easily and then it just doesn't work. So make sure that you have it plugged in all the way and you have that strain relief clipped on to the harness. So another issue that we see frequently is people will call in because their remote's not working and they get this red blinking light up here. There's two reasons for that. Number one, this multi-port cord that we talked about, either the tip is bent or broken or, or the cable itself has some sort of an issue. So that could be a problem. So definitely check that. The other issue would be formatting the SD card. If the SD card has some sort of issue with the formatting, then you're going to want to reformat that SD card. Check out this video on how to do that. All right, I'm showing the Sony camera. What do you got to do when you got an SD card to format it? So I'm just going to put the SD card in the, in the camera here on the Sony. It's over here on the side. And then you'll have this down when you're filming because you've got to put the HDMI port on there. Just go to your menu. And then format. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to execute? And you're going to say, okay. It's going to take a couple seconds. And you're done card is formatted ready to go I do that before every game